Now, let's say hello to tonight's guests. One of them starring in a new nail-biting thriller and the other is returning to the West End stage after 18 years. It's Cara Toynton and Jack Davenport. <laughs> Hello. Hello, hello. Well, Jack, you are the perfect guest on the back of that VT because uh, yes. you, you rehomed your little doggy, didn't you? I did. Our first dog we got from Busty Dogs Home, Sadie, oh. the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. We had many happy years together. Oh, Sadie's no longer. See, she was pretty old when we got her. She, uh, she arrived, uh, it was quite unusual at Busty Dogs Home, in a police car because her owner had done something terrible legally but he did love his dog, so she was actually quite a happy dog. So she hadn't been mistreated. So we, it was, you know, swings and roundabouts with the oh. people are dogs. complicated, aren't they? Aren't they? And Just dogs. goes to show and dogs. Um, Cara, let's talk about your new drama. So too good to be true. Also starring Downton Abbey's uh, Alan Leach. It's about a single mum who mm -hmm. gets an amazing job opportunity, but all is not quite as it seems. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit more. So it's 14th of Feb, Channel Five. Um, this is a Valentine's Day psychological thriller, four-parter, and I play Rachel. She is a single mum, up against it, struggling financially in every sense, and she is working for a cleaning agency, taking on every shift she can to support her and her son, mm -hmm. who is this incredibly academically gifted, emotionally intelligent 11-year-old, Liam, and uh, life is tough. When? She gets the op I've, I've been practicing this. It's very good. I'll be here very well. So she gets the opportunity to work exclusively for um, in uh, as housekeeper in this mansion manor house in the middle of nowhere. It's all very mysterious. Um, for a very successful businessman, aka Alan Leach, the gorgeous Alan Leach. And um, yeah, it all kicks off from there. It's very mysterious, it's very strange. She wonders what the heck is up and why he's chosen her. But it turns out he's been staying at the hotel she's been working at. And um, he's sort of taking a liking, for some reason, to this mother-son duo. Oh, don't say too much, well, Cara. this is the thing. Let's have a look. Well, let's have a look. <laughs> Elliot. You own this. Last time I checked. You don't mind I brought him? I'm glad he's here. He's a multi-millionaire. Why would someone like that be interested in me? Can't trust you, can't I? Why do you ask? I feel like I know you. Like I've always known you. Elliot isn't who you think he is. You've got to get out. Now. <laughs> this is what he does. So oh, see, can't you, why she fell for him and all the rest of it. Anyway, the point is, you could really relate to your character, Rachel, yeah. couldn't you? I could. I wondered where you would get. Yeah, I've got two kids, two boys, and so playing mother is always really yeah. easy once you have Kind of second nature, right. isn't it's it? Second nature. There they are. Oh. I think watching... Hello, Helly. Hello, Frey. This oh. is me at work. And um, yeah, but I, and also I find cleaning when you become a mother is the one time you sort of have a little zen moment by yourself. So I've become really good at it since uh, since I had the boys. You've done your own research. It's my moment out. Yeah, and I'm, all, oh, I'm watching myself cleaning. Every moment we had, we'd do these montage sh shots of me cleaning windows. And so I think I got some practice in, but um, yeah, when I watched myself, I thought, I hope I'm doing it right. One of the things that I loved about this, because <laughs> I got the chance to see to see the first episode early, is that with the little actor who plays Charlie, Charlie who Hansen. plays uh, your son, Sorry, yeah. you've got a lovely chemistry with him. And also, she's a funny mum. I liked seeing you laugh together. Yeah, there's a lovely relationship between the two of them. And he's a fantastic little actor. He made it really easy. Because it's always, you know, you're, you're flung in. But he's a little bit older, playing younger, and he's just so... He's one of these that's good at everything. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. uh, and it was a really fun, fun one to do. Well, yeah. this is the thing, Jack. I mean, they had nicknames for each other. So, Charlie, you said he was a you know, gifted young actor. Yeah. One take Charlie, you see? Yeah. No, I see what you did there. Then there was two take Leech. Yeah. And then... And then... And yeah. then, Cara... We oh, got to know, know like your nickname. 
So Alan very kindly sent this little uh, oh, no. still in. Yes, Excellent. yes. Ten know? take time. Oh, I had to do another forty on, so that's good, isn't it? <laughs> Ten take time. <laughs> very nice. He's an absolute handful, isn't he? Thank you very much, Cara. A too good to be true starts next Wednesday at nine p.m. on Channel Five. Now, Jack, let's talk about your return to the West End stage. It's been quite some time. Eighteen years it's since been you a minute, trod yes. the board. Yes. How are the nerves? How are you feeling? We're a week away from our first preview, so fair to hellish, I would say. <laughs> I said this, this is point. the last place you yeah. want to be. Yeah. Yeah. He's got to be here. Uh, it's a good warm-up, bit good of live television. Yeah. Well, oh, listen, yeah. you need to, it quickens the blood. It gets the adrenaline it, it does, going, yes. which is what we need. It's good. Yes. So the play is called The Human Body. It? Uh, it's got Keely Hawes, who we love, oh, in amazing it. Amazing Keely Hawes. And it's kind of centred around the NHS, but there's also a love story that is woven through, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's written by an amazing playwright called Lucy Kirkwood and the, the backdrop is the year that the NHS was founded because I think this year is the 75th anniversary of the NHS mm. and she sort of wanted to write something that honoured that moment because obviously the NHS is having a bit of a rough go of it and in the foreground of it uh, of the play is this um, love story uh, between uh, a doctor who's also trying to become an MP played by the amazing Keely Hawes and myself, who is a British actor who's been living in America for a long time, which obviously demonstrates my lack I of rage. I wonder why they cast <laughs> uh, um, oh, no. There you go. So it's a documentary from my perspective. And, no, but yes, and so, so th those are the two elements that go together. So, I mean, you do personally have a rather wonderful family connection to the NHS, I think, Jack. I do. Well, I, my, my very wonderful grandmother, who was um, born into enormous privilege in a way, but she was the sort of person that... Uh, she, she had a life of service um, throughout her whole life. And when she was quite elderly, um, in the sort of eight, late, early 80s, um, 1980s, um, she used to push the trolley round the AIDS ward at the Chelsea and Westminster Hospital at a time when people were still, like, not comfortable mm. with looking after people who were suffering with HIV. Mm. And she she didn't care. She just she just got in there. She was in there twice a week. So she was volunteering? Uh, she, she was volunteering because I think she understood that, you know, these great institutions that we rely upon so much, they don't function without volunteer help as well. And so it was, mm. it was quite sort of humbling to see her do that twice a week oh how yeah. lovely um so listen this this year also marks a bit of an anniversary for you because i think it's 25 years since you starred in the talented mr ripley mm. so big breakthrough role time, yeah wow. you gwyneth paltrow matt damon oh well there's a child there know, next to gwyneth look. paltrow um i do hear it was quite an intimidating shoot for you though particularly this scene in venice oh why? Because of the pigeons. Uh, the pigeons, <laughs> yes. I'm not well, because we filmed all over Italy, um, and that's Mark Square in Venice, which is oh. one of the most famous places in the world, really. And we would rehearse in the early morning, and then we'd leave, and then by the time we get back, you, what you can't see there is there's like four thousand people, ropes off around the edge. And they're, most of them are Italian, so they're not backwards and coming forwards. And so I would say it's a bit like trying to do street theatre with, like, Pressure. a pop star. Because <laughs> um, no-one was there to look at me. They were going crazy about a map. But, um, and everywhere we went, it was a bit like that. So it was, And it was hot, and as you could probably see, I'm quite overdressed. So, yeah, it was, it was, it was a lot to cope with. I watched it again last summer, and it is one of the all-time great movies, isn't it's it? It's brilliant. Just such a, it was a good it, one. It, it, it was a good one. Yeah, you don't. You, no one gets to make many movies that would stand the test of time, but yeah. I think that's one that sort of endures Special, in a way. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. a good one. And of course, before the talented Mr. Ripley. <laughs> There was, of course, this life. Which was even longer ago. Let's, no, not, had, let's not this dwell on that long ago. Long. How many years? <laughs> yeah. But we've had lots of people, haven't we, get oh, in touch? Oh, so many um, messages. Asking, you know, obviously, you had a little reunion, didn't you? But there's so much love for it. There was, yeah. They, people didn't love the reunion, though. Uh, people got quite upset well, about the reunion. we skim over that. Um, no, everyone complained about it not being like the original, but I was like, yeah, it was a one-off. Anyway, but no, yes. But have you got good <laughs> memories of oh, it was making magical. this life? It was amazing. We were all children. I mean, we, Andrew Lincoln and I were like 22 years old and none of us had really worked in mm. television before and we all had these big parts and these amazing scripts and we were terrified and then it sort of became a thing and it was, it was quite a lot... 
the, yeah, the mid '90s were a quite overwhelming period. Mm. Uh, I've dated it now, haven't I? <laughs> oh well. No, but it was a cult classic. That it, yeah, it was. I think yeah, it, it was. It's fun. I've not I've watched it for, uh, since it came out, but um, I'm sure it feels very dated now. But at the time, I think it was deemed quite sort of revolutionary to yeah. sort of mm. have you know characters behaving badly and not have immediate terrible moral repercussions and i think mm. people quite uh, quite quite like that yeah, yeah. well it set uh, the template didn't it fantastic and thank you very much jack the human body will be on at the donmar warehouse in london from next friday until the 13th of april meeting jack i think you had a very special teacher who played a big had a big role and impact on your career i did he was called tim pierce he was my english teacher and he was also like head of drama at my school and um foolishly allowed me to do ridiculous things for a 16 year old he made me play hamlet when I, no one needs to see a 16 year old play hamlet we can see uh, it now it's on oh tv oh my god where did you get that Jack. from <laughs> wow. oh my that's a terrifying photograph <laughs> it really did look like a school play Isn't that it really amazing what they can find the yeah. researchers on this show with the word drama in me well that's but debatable. you know what it's you just need one person to say i'll give it a go yeah, yeah no, 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 he, he, it true. was it was amazing he it's made huge. me gave me a lot of confidence yeah. What about you, Cara? Yeah, I'm. I'm one of my, my special teacher for me was my drama teacher, and I'm still in contact with her and Barbara, and uh, she helps me out occasionally, and we talk a lot. So that's been a, a long relationship with the teacher. And Mr. Cooper, my science teacher, was had that perfect mix of strict with the fun. Right. Yeah, bit and of a um, laugh I wasn't as very well. good at science, but he was fantastic. Uh, well, thank you so much for sending in your wintry pictures. We have had tons. Uh, tune in tomorrow and you might see yours in the screen. Oh, perfect. That's all we've got time for tonight. Thank you to our guests, Jack and Cara. I'll be back tomorrow with Vernon Kay and we'll be joined by comedian Sue Perkins and Rick Astley will be, give us, be giving us an exclusive performance from the Radio 2 Piano Room. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. Thought you were going to say giving it up there. <laughs>